Hi, Story Wilson here with RSW Solutions. You're looking at a Range Rover L322 BMW M62 V8 engine. Today we're going to examine the procedures to replace the electronic thermostat, which is a common failure item on these vehicles. And what 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 actually happens is you get an electric switch failure, and you have to replace the entire assembly. The assembly is uh, in the front center of the engine, just to the left, and this is the part. It is. It is made by Bear, which actually manufactures this entire coolant assembly. Part number 11531436386. This is what the part looks like. This is the entire assembly. Uh, inside the thermostat, there's the electric sensor, and there's the inlet pipe, and it kind of mounts like this right underneath the intake plenum. So, to get started, we're going to remove the intake plenum, we're going to remove the cooling fan and fan shroud, and then we'll have full access to the thermostat assembly. Plenum, real easy, flat head, comes off very simply. Uh, take care to remember to unplug these vacuum lines, otherwise they'll snap off. To gain better access to the front of the engine, we're going to need to remove the engine cooling fan and the engine cooling fan shroud and the associated hoses. And with every job, if you have the right tool, it's easier. We have a 32 millimeter wrench and a special fan removal tool. You'll see it has two holes on it. It grabs the nuts on the actual engine cooling fan pulley and you use them to apply force counteracting and you can remove the uh, cooling fan. It's important to note that you always unscrew the fan in the direction the fan only rotates. You can look at the fan and see that it rotates in a clockwise direction, so that is how you would uh, unscrew the nut. You'll apply your tools and you'll unscrew it in a clockwise direction. Okay, using counteracting force, so I'm pushing it apart. It goes much easier when you have the right tools. To remove the shroud, you're going to pop off these plastic clips, real simple, and save them for later. You're going to pop off their hoses that are clipped onto the side of the plastic shroud on both sides. On this side, on the bottom of the shroud, you're going to reach way down and pop them out. When you remove them, make absolutely certain to put them back when the job is done, otherwise the engine fan will tear them to shreds. Now the entire assembly should lift up. I've got the cooling fan that's loose right here. I'm going to lift up the cooling fan and the shroud at the same time, gently rocking it back and forth, making sure not to damage the radiator housing as it comes up, and make sure it doesn't get caught in anything else in the process. There it is. Now that the engine shroud and engine fan have been removed, it's an excellent opportunity to inspect your radiator. Make sure you don't see any leaks on the surface here. Checking, make sure to check down near, near the transmission cooler in that corner, and this corner down here underneath the camera. Uh, so now that we're in here, we're going to now we're going to begin the process of removing the thermostat assembly, which is right here. This is the thermostat assembly. Now I've got a good view of the thermostat assembly, which is right here and you can pop this clip off very easily with a flathead and then we're going to remove this bracket down here with a five millimeter allen wrench. We'll go ahead and remove this clip real quick. It's got a spring you just push in, push in there and pull it right up. That's the actual electronic thermostat control and we'll just tuck that out of the way. Be aware that when you remove that uh, large diameter black cooling hose from the electric thermostat that you're going to get a significant amount of coolant coming out of that hose. And it's a nice idea to put a plastic tub underneath the uh, vehicle to drain it into. Notice that large cooling hose has been removed and I drained it into a funnel. So I didn't have to remove the actual uh, skid plate on the bottom of the car. And uh, we use a 10 millimeter wrench now. 10 millimeter wrench to uh, crack these nuts. And then we'll begin to take the housing off. Alright, oh. see we've pried off the hose. And uh, we remove the four bolts, three bolts. we got one left. I'm going to go ahead and undo it here and see what happens. I, I would imagine we're going to get all the engine coolant. I've got my receptacle down below waiting to catch it all. So you're going to find out the same way I'm going to find out. Let's see what we get here. 
wiggle, and there it goes. Now that we've removed the thermostat assembly, uh, the engine coolant drained out, and again we collected it in a good receptacle. We're going to go ahead and clean this surface here, make sure that it uh, doesn't have anything stuck to the surface. We'll put in the new, the new thermostat assembly, tighten everything up, assemble it in reverse, connect the hoses, and don't forget to connect the actual thermostat assembly plug. Refill the system, burp it of air, make sure that you don't have any air locks in there.